Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of February 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saggy. Interesting. The overall energy for the reading, the moon, things are starting to show up for you. Things that you may not have known, things that you may not have wanted to know are starting to pop up to the surface. Um, in the cur oh, current, starting off the reading, you get the six of swords crossed by the two of wands. Um, All right, you're deciding not to wait on a situation anymore. I feel like you've waited and waited and waited for something to happen, and you're like, okay, I'm done. Bye. Uh, I don't know what the situation is quite yet, but you're deciding to move on from something. Um, in your focus here, the Six of Wands, something that makes you feel good, makes you feel victorious, makes you feel like you achieved something. Um, you're kind of focusing on this energy of feeling it, basically. In the recent past, the devil, uh, this could have been a toxic situation you dealt with. Um, in your strength, the two of pentacles, you may have more options than you know, more options than you think. And they might show up and keep you busy for a little while. Uh, these options can be in regards to your job, your love life, your everything, basically. So it's not, until we clarify, I can't really tell what that um, is referring to. In the immediate future, love is showing up for you. Um, huh. The supportive energies. Uh, com why did I say commitment? I wanted to say a partnership or a collaboration, but I did say or wanted to say commitment. Um, okay. But it does show up in the form of a friendship more than anything. At least at this point. What it's going to turn into? The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Seven of Wands, a little bit of um, standing up and starting to kick for yourself, you know, being like, okay, I need to move, I need to create things for myself, instead of just sitting in an energy and waiting for things to happen, basically. Um, in your hopes and fears, the Six of Pentacles, wishing for that whole dynamic of equal give and take, you know, that whole energy exchange. Um, and I feel like that's more of a general kind of thing. I'm not sure if you're sticking it on one person in particular. I feel like it's that whole dynamic that needs to play out with your family members, with your friends, with, you know, sharing that kind of um, energy with people, you know, that desire to have that in your life. Um, for the potential outcome, the Nine of Pentacles, this is you feeling empowered, feeling independent, single, possibly free, um, feeling good about where you're at. So let's uh, let's clarify. Let me clarify the moon. Where are you at? <clears throat> oh wow, the hermit, the world, the two of cups, some sort of a love situation might be coming to an end now it could be that this situation actually ended years ago and for some reason you didn't find closure you didn't find that place of i'm moving on um because this this all this whole ending is starting from you from you going within and really being honest with yourself and being like okay this is done um because i feel like for a for a very long time you kept an eye shut here like yeah i'm not gonna deal with that let's just pretend like it's not there like you know i'm not hanging on to this person energetically i moved on let's lie to ourselves um it's coming in as no it's done on my part you know so i feel like there's some sort of detachment there um full detachment on your part uh 
so that I could relate to this not waiting on anything anymore to happen. Let me see the Six of Swords. Five of Swords, the Temperance card, the Hierophant. Yeah, this is um, this is a self-sabotage kind of energy, um, which I feel like you may have placed upon yourself in the sense of maybe waiting on a person, you know, not dealing with what you had in front of you, which was who knows what, maybe that person wasn't available or maybe, uh, maybe you did end it at some point and it was ended and you forgot to deal with the fact that, oh my God, it's ended. Um, so you may have stayed in that place of, well, let's pretend that, you know, Someday they'll come back and we'll have this magical connection somehow. So placing yourself into the future, basically, or living through the emotions of the future, which weren't true because, you know, you don't know the future. Um, so that's creating this whole dreamland in which you may have lived for a very long time until you said, OK, I need to face reality. Um, and the reality placed you into this waiting mode. Like, what are you doing? Are you waiting for this person? You know, what, 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 what is the reality? The reality is this person is not here and I'm just sitting here. My life passes me by, but I'm just sitting and waiting. Um, so I feel like you had a pretty major reality check, basically. Or you're going through it. Let me clarify the Six of Wands. <clears throat> in your focus the king of wands the three of swords the justice card you're trying to deal with the pain um that you may n have never dealt with you know because putting yourself in that whole dreamland that's a place where you don't hurt because it's beautiful it's the two of you are together 20 years from now or whatever um and right now you're hurting but you're dismissing that because you're there you're not here to deal with the pain so i feel like what you're doing now is actually dealing with the pain that was there all along um and it makes you feel good in a way it makes you feel like okay at least i'm doing something uh i'm doing something for myself and i'm dealing with my own situation even though it's painful and it sucks but let me clarify the devil in the recent past Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. So, yeah. <sighs> trying to make this happen. Trying to create this beautiful energy. This beautiful... Happily ever after kind of energy with somebody. And I feel like it was toxic. You know? Again, the reality of it was that maybe it wasn't so pretty. Maybe it was so pretty in your imagination or theirs. Or whoever thought of it. Like, oh, it's gonna happen. But they forgot to deal with what was actually happening. And I don't feel like it was so pretty looking. You know? Um, let's clarify the Two of Pentacles. In your strength. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Devil. There you go. Detaching yourself from this crap, from this energy. That kind of took over. Um, and... I feel like you have dealt with this situation, this toxic situation that may have turned into a toxic behavior for yourself, where you allowed yourself to deal with this for a very long time. And it kind of became habit. It kind of became a place of, well, of course, it's normal that I'm dealing with this. Not really. You know, if it doesn't make you feel good, then no, it's not normal. But we get used to it. And that's another problem where people don't really start to not detach themselves from what's normal or what feels good to them or what's reality, what's their perspective, what's a dream, what's, you know, they get lost in that whole sense of repetitive kind of behavior and they're like, oh, it's normal. I don't think so. And I feel like you started to take more care of yourself and that's how you manage to um, detach yourself from this. There's a little bit of a sense of, uh, I don't know how to do it and trying to go back to it because it's habit remember it comes in as a habit here 
um, but you're on a good path of completely detaching yourself from this. Let me clarify the Queen of Cups in the immediate future. Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. This situation is going to come back around, but I feel like you're not going to be as responsive to it as you were in the past. I feel like you're going to say no to it. Not a clear no, but a, eh, not really, not really interested. It's not a clear, clear no, because this person, whoever they are, they're going to come up with an energy of, hey, let's do this again. Let's try this again. And there you are responding to it. Like, nah. Let me clarify the three of pentacles. In the supportive energies. Ace of cups, two of pentacles, four of swords. Through all of this that you're dealing with, trying to get yourself out of a possible toxic situation from your past that keeps on coming back. Um, there's a friendship possibly around you. Or some sort of collaboration with someone. Um, this situation might want to turn into love. Where this person may uh, try to come in. Offering, you know, or opening up their heart to you. Um, and there's you kind of not knowing what to do about it. Should I take it? Should I not? And I feel like you're going to take some time for yourself to figure things out when it comes to this. But there's definitely a situation around you that might develop into love. Let me clarify the Seven of Wands in the Hidden Energies. Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, the Strength card. All right. You're dealing with a lot of your own shit, basically. I can't find a better word because I don't think there is none. Uh, where you may have done a lot of things in the past that got you hurt, which is accepting the situation as normal, or it could be a lot of things where we do things to ourselves. We can blame others all we want, all we want. If they didn't have somebody to give that energy to, then they wouldn't give it, right? So if we're there, then we're responsible for being there and supplying them with somebody to exchange that energy that they're putting out there with. So it's like we're doing it to ourselves, basically. But it's human nature to blame the other person. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of resistance on your part to deal with this crap um, of yours, but you're still doing it. You're still kind of pulling through it and looking at it and being like, okay, okay, that's mine. You know, they, yeah, they did that, but I was there for them to do that with. So in the end, it was me. Um, let's see the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, the Hangman, the Five of Pentacles. Again, some option is showing up here for you. There's somebody out there for you, and I feel like it's surround it's in your surrounding, it's in your vicinity. It's somebody that you may know may already be connected to. Again, on a friendship level or whatever level. And you're kind of considering it, but are scared that um, it's not going to work out. There's this fear that it's not going to work out. So I don't see you necessarily taking action towards it because of your fear. Um, let me see the Nine of Pentacles in the potential outcome. <clears throat> God, said you Three of Pentacles again. I'm telling you. Two of Wands, the Tower. Yeah. In this situation, you're kind of putting it on hold. This whole situation with whoever this person is, because I don't know who they are. Um, there is a sense of you needing some more time for yourself. So it's like, I'm not going to get myself into the next thing until I take some time for me. Um, for some reason, I'm feeling that that's not going to last for long, though. But that's just me. Um, let's see what the universe has. The Temperance card is the Five of Wands, the Ace of Cups. 
uh, that's you right there, the Temperance card. Um, a lot of conflict, a lot of inner conflict in regards to this new beginning in love, which is showing up here from this partnership of yours that keeps on coming up from this friendship, collaboration, whatever this is to you. Uh, you feel very conflicted about this when it's going to show up in its true form when the other person is probably going to confess like, hey, do you want to try this? Um, and that's going to create a lot of conflict for you. And it's probably going to bring out this fear of abandonment or fear of failure or all sorts of other situations. So make sure that you do want this time for yourself or if it's the other thing where you're not taking this offer because you're scared, but it's not going to work out. Those are two very different things. See in which one you fall. And if it's fear, then you know that there's something you need to deal with and work through. Um, if it's the time you need for yourself, take as much time as you need. Um, let's close it off with the Oracle card from the um, Alice, the Wonderland Oracle for you. Messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. If you have any animals or if you feel inclined to help animals just watch for animals because they bring in messages for sure um to you um i'm always keeping an eye out for animals and whatever they bring into my life so something related to animals here for you definitely uh but that's what i have for you saji hope this helped and i'll see you next time